Hello, this is Jonathan Cook with NCSI. In this video, I will be walking you through how to configure neurons for service management to use Office 365 for sending and receiving emails. First, we need to open the Azure portal and navigate to Azure Active Directory. Navigate to App Registrations and click New Registration. Enter a name for your app and click Register. Once the app has been registered, we will be presented with the overview page. Note the application ID and directory ID for later use in the setup. Navigate to Certificates and Secrets. Now we must create a client secret the service manager will use to authenticate with the MS Graph API. Provide a description and when the client secret should expire and select Add. Once the secret has been created, copy the value for later in the setup. Now that we've created our application, we need to grant it permission to access user mailboxes using the Graph API. Our application requires three permissions, mail.readwrite, mail.send, and user.readall. Select Add Permission, Microsoft Graph, then Application Permissions. Search for and select the three permissions. Once you selected the permissions, click Add Permissions. Before these permissions can be added, we must click Grant Admin Consent and confirm by clicking Yes. We can now switch to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, where we will be creating a mail-enabled security group. Use the navigation bar on the left to access the Active Teams and Groups page. Select Add a Group. Select Mail Enabled Security for Group Type, then click Next. Provide a name for this new group and click Next to proceed to the Owner step. For this setup, I'll be selecting myself as the owner. Click Next to move to the Member step. Add your Service Desk mailbox to this group. The application created will only be able to access the mailbox for members of this group. Click Next and enter an email address for this group. Click Next, review your changes, and click Create Group. Close the Add a Group dialog, select Mail Enabled Security, refresh, and copy the security group's email address to save for later. To restrict the application's access only to members of our new security group, we must create an application access policy. We'll be using PowerShell with the Exchange Online Management module to create this policy. If you don't have this module installed, you can run the following command to install it. Next, we'll need to connect to Exchange Online using the Connect Exchange Online command. This will open your browser to sign in. After signing in, return to your PowerShell window. Use the New Application Access Policy command to create our application access policy. Replacing the app ID with your application ID and the policy scope group with the security group's email address. Hit enter to run the command. Next, we'll use the test application access policy command to test our application's access to the service desk mailbox. Replace the identity with the service desk's email address and the app ID with your application's ID. Press enter to run the command. We can see that the access check result field returned granted. And if we try this again with a different email for the identity, we can see that denied is the result for access check. Open Neurons for Service Management and navigate to the Email Config workspace. We'll be modifying the out-of-the-box outbound mail service first. Change the mail protocol to Microsoft Graph and fill in the client ID, client tenant ID, and client secret key fields. 
where the client ID is the Azure application ID, the client tenant ID is the Azure tenant ID, and the client secret key is the Azure secret key. Enter the service desk email address in the username field, click save, then click test connection. We'll switch over to the service desk mailbox and see that an email was received and sent. We'll go ahead and save again. Now that we've configured the outbound settings to use Microsoft 365, let's switch to the inbox. At the bottom of the email config form is the inbox mailbox. Select it and click go to. Change the protocol to Microsoft Graph and the authentication to auth login. Make sure that the address and username are both set to the service desk email. In this setup, that is help at lab.simple-it.com. Then we can copy the application ID, the tenant ID, and the secret from our notes to this mailbox. You can optionally provide an inbox name before clicking save and test connection. We can see the result of the test just beneath the test connection button. Now that we've connected both the inbound and outbound mailboxes, we can test sending an email to our service desk email and making sure that that creates an incident. Here we've received the email and it's been processed now by service manager. We'll open up incidents and switch to all incidents and we can see that a new incident has been logged. That was how to configure neurons for service management to use Office 365 for inbound and outbound email. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day.